I swear to Christ, this feels like a knockoff iPhone 4. Like, I don't know. This feels like one of those, like, Chinese knockoff iPhones that are, like, trying to, like, have a skin of iOS 7. It's just, wow. This is just, wow. <laughs> What's up guys, it is I, the Apple Buyer, here today, and I'm back with a brand new video for you all, and today we're doing a video on my iPhone 2G. We are going absolute retro style with this device, although the operating system that this device is running is not so retro style. So, as the, many of you can tell, this looks like a really cheap skin, kind of cheap at least, skin of iOS 7, which it is. This is uh, an iPhone 2G running White Door 7, and I gotta say, for an iPhone 2G and the skin, since it's not technically iOS 7, they did a pretty good job at this. They even went as far to include the... Oh, whoops, I thought they added the notification center. Okay, well, anyway, so they added the, the control center. That was pretty nice. I've already been finding so much use in that. I really like... How you can adjust the brightness. Oh, I can blind you guys now. I really like how you can adjust the brightness. It's so convenient. I always loved Control Center for the record. Except one cheap thing about this is that it's not very smart. So you can still kind of use the device and it can just be really dumb and stuff. So you kind of have to grab it right at the, the little slider there. Then slide down. Not a big deal, but... It is kind of annoying. Another thing about this White Door 7 is that it does enable multitasking, although it is so glitchy. See, I just double clicked it, but it thinks I'm trying to use Siri, which I will get into, by the way. So, one, two. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's, it's so glitchy, though. And you can see that this is the multitasking of iOS 7, but it is so glitchy. You kind of have to... You kind of have to, like, be patient with it, like, so we'll open up the, the uh, Photos app, go back, double click, and you have to swipe to it. You can't, like, close it from here, so you have to go to the thing in the middle, then put your finger on it and slide up. It's really just, like, ugh. And then, of course, you get Siri, which is broken, because if this were the real Siri, then you'd be able to do this. Hello. Wow. Okay, well, see, that's just like the... That's Siri. Anyway, those are just the basics of it. Now we're just going to kind of dive deeper into it. So, you can see that you do, in all of the apps, this kind of gives you like an iOS 7 skin. They did a pretty good job at like emulating the iOS 7, iOS 7 and up, um, what, what you want to call it, uh settings app and all that stuff so there is a section right here normally right here this would be the um control center settings but you know that's white door settings so you let that load and then features and of course you can go through all your settings here wallpaper folders app switcher ios 7 style what can you choose there uh manual multitasking i don't know what that does so let's see what that does okay i Oh, okay. Basically what manual multitasking does is it just kind of makes things a little bit better. But honestly, you're, you're, you're kind of just seeing all the features. I'm just showing you them right now. I haven't given you my review yet, but I'm telling you, this is so ridiculous. I, like, I understand why they made this, but I seriously question if anyone actually uses this because this is kind of trashy if you ask me so it's just kind of better multitasking with the manual thing going out of that you do get Cydia in there and then I'm not sure what terminal is I'm pretty sure terminal is like the the place where you can get all the old apps unfortunately the Wi-Fi antenna is broken on my device as you can see there it's like taped on because the black part doesn't want to stay on but the Wi-Fi antenna is broken on this device so you know I can't really show you the the old apps that you can install but you do get Cydia so you can install tweaks and such and then terminal you I'm sure they'll say on their website so overall this is just an iOS 7 wannabe like I said in the beginning of this video 
this white door 7 just makes this iPhone 2G feel like a Chinese knockoff iPhone that just wants to run iOS 7, but it's like a skin of Android. Like you can just say that iOS 3 is Android and then you just put a skin on on this phone to make it look like iOS 7 and you could easily get away with it because this seriously does look like a Chinese knockoff phone. Also, I'm not hating on this White Door 7. I'm sure it took hours upon hours to make this. I understand how the developers feel about this, but you know, it's just when you're trying to em emulate something from 2013 on a 2007 phone with such old and low specs, then you know, you know, you just it's just a disaster. Do I think that people should live with White Door 7? Oh god, no. I don't even think you should. The White Door 7 supports the iPhone 2G, 3G, and the iPod Touch 1 and uh, iPod Touch 2. All those devices have the same general specs, and you can see the performance on this device, and it's kind of garbage, or not kind of garbage, it is garbage. I mean, yeah, you do get these nice features and that kind of stuff, but is it worth it when it takes however long to go to the home screen so here let's see I know it's gonna take forever well you can see that it's just glitchy on here it's just you know do you want multitasking and have it be the most weird thing ever when you could pay probably the same price for an iPhone 4 which runs the real version of iOS 7 I think white door 7 is a bit of a gimmick honestly I think it's something fun to install and mess around with but beyond that why use it as your everyday driver? I mean, it is nice that you get to be able to install older version of apps. I mean, that is extremely well appreciated, but on this old of a device, it just doesn't need it. This device is way beyond retirement, and you don't need something to try to remedy that. I do say it was fairly easy to install White Door. If I'm correct, all I had to do was download the IPSW from their website, which was a custom IPSW, by the way, and then use Red Snow, put it in Pawn DFU, and then just shift restore it with their custom IPSW. So it was very easy. This is literally just iOS 3 with an iOS skin thing to it. And then it just has a bunch of old versions of apps that you can install. Well, I'm glad I got this video out of the way because now I can restore this thing back to iOS 3 because I've been wanting to do that for a while now. I've had this thing running White Door for a couple weeks now and it's time to get it back on iOS 3. I hate having White Door on this device. So thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead, da download and install White Door. I'll link the, the website down below if you'd like to download a version of it. And peace.